uh, you guys were able to turn on the second half? Just you know, what what went right in the second half that maybe wasn't going right in the first half? Um, I mean, we were able to disrupt Penn State's timing a little bit. Uh, they were knocking down a lot of shots in the first half. Um, so uh, just really disrupting them on offense, try to try to make them take a tough shot at the end of the shot clock. Um, and we got some pretty good uh, some pretty good deflections on, in our press. So we were able to um, get some pretty pretty good offensive buckets. But it also looked like the shot started going down for you guys in the second half. In the 14-0 run, you had a couple of threes. Uh, KBD got, got involved, too. I mean, you know, just how infectious is it when that when that shot finally starts to go down? Um, it felt like when one went down, I mean, uh, three or four, five of them went in. Um, so, I mean, it was really just a, a testament to our pace on offense um, and our screening by our bigs, really. Talked to Cam and he said that when Penn State retook the lead late in the second half, that you were one of the guys that stepped in and really calmed everybody down and, and brought them all together. You know, just talk about you know just being a, being a leader in a team like that. Um, I mean, in situations like that, um, somebody has to take the room and say, uh, we're not going to go home just yet. Um, we're going to win this game. And, uh, I mean, I felt like it was a perfect opportunity for me to step into that in that moment. You've been scoring at a high level in these couple of games, three straight games, the last 20. How, how rewarding, how good does it feel to be you right now? Everything you've been through in the journey at Ohio State to get to this point where these are all basically life or death games for you guys. You're, you're carrying the load, you're getting the basket, you're drawing the contact. How does it feel to be that guy? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a, like you said, winner go home type of scenario uh, that we're in right now. Um, I mean, it feels good to know that my teammates and the coaches have a lot of confidence in me to be able to make those plays, and uh, they're really putting me in the right position, and um, I'm just blessed to be able to take advantage of those. I know having to like, deal with us on a daily basis is not always the most enjoyable thing. Like, is this like the most enjoyable part of the season for you? Like, I mean, when we see you at the podium, it's one thing, but just being around the guys and stuff, like how, how loose do you feel right now? How do you feel right now? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a feeling to be in this moment. Uh, not everyone has the opportunity to keep playing in advance. Uh, so, I mean, you just have to take every moment uh, for what it is and uh, enjoy it. Ken, we were just asking you about how Cam said how I mean, you were speaking up when, when Penn State took that road. I was talking to Trevor, and you mentioned coming out of halftime, you kind of gave a little something, just a little message to the guys. Was that just a case of someone got to say something, or you know, what went through your mind, I guess, before you talked to the guys there? I mean, um, it wasn't like somebody just had to say something. It was just like, uh, we wanted to come out. I wanted us to come out and play hard and be able to take the lead. Right? I mean, we were down by a couple points at half, and uh, I felt like uh, we have the ability to win the game. So um, just getting the guys all on the same page and uh, bring, building our energy um, was, was really what I was looking for. Were you doing that two months ago? Um, I say so, but I mean, it's not always about who's saying whatever, who's doing whatever. Um, it's just about wins or losses. I just mean like it, it seems like another example.